Hello, my name is Donna Hurst and I am a senior consultant with Synergy Business Solutions. Today we are going to be talking about recording electronic payments in Dynamics SL Accounts Payable. This exciting new feature was released with Dynamics SL 2011. Today we're going to walk through entering the electronic payment and then we're going to view the results of that payment on screen and on reports. As you can see, I already have Dynamics SL open, so let's get started. First, let's review the setup. Oh wait, there is no setup. The Dynamics SL 2011 release gave you this new functionality out of the box. It's just waiting for you to use it, so let's go. There are two screens where we can enter the EFT payments. First is the manual check payment entry screen, and the second is the voucher and adjustment entry screen using the manual check payment tab. This review is going to focus on the manual check payment entry screen option. So let's get started. When recording EFT payments, you will enter your information just as you would a standard hand check. We need to verify the period to post, enter our batch control total, and confirm our checking account and subaccount. Next, you will enter your EFT number. It is best practice to use the EFT number provided by the bank as the check number if this is possible. Now's a good time to suggest that you consider setting up a separate GL account and subaccount for your EFT payments. As you know, SL keeps track of your next check number by bank account. If you override the check number with a number higher in sequence, your next check number won't populate correctly. If you use a different account and subaccount, you won't lose the sequencing function. Next, enter the date the EFT payment took place and then change the type to electronic payment. Select the vendor and enter the check amount. Next, you will select the voucher that is being paid by this EFT. Once all of this information is entered, you'll change your batch handling to release now and finish your batch. As you can see, the entry for an electronic document is the same as entering a hand check. The only real difference is the document type. The document type for an electronic payment is EP. Next, let's take a look at how these documents appear in the vendor document screen. I'll enter my vendor ID and then click on the Documents tab. My eyes are immediately drawn to my document type of electronic payment. I'll go ahead and change my detail viewing option to All Documents and I can easily differentiate between my checks and my electronic payments. Now that we have seen how electronic payments are displayed on a screen, let's take a look at what they look like on a report. I will close my vendor screen and open the check register report. I will print preview the report to my screen and on the display I can see that I now have a CK document for an earlier check and an EP document type for my recent electronic payment. And finally, let's take a look at the electronic payment type in the AP document quick query screen. I will close the check register report and related ROI screen and then open the AP document quick query found in the accounts payable quick query module. As soon as the screen opens, I can see that my most recent document has a document type of EP for electronic payment. And that's all for electronic payments. Thank you so much for your time and I do hope that you found this video helpful and informative. Thank <laughs> you.